Arcade racing games have come a long way since the likes of Daytona, OutRun and Sega Rally. So how does a modern racer stack up? Well, we check out the 2010 machine, Dead Heat, to find out. Let's do this. As you can see, this is all about high speed, big drifts and ramming into your friends. It's Burnout meets Outrun meets Mario Kart and it's designed to be able to just sit in, get to grips with the racing straight away and get straight into it. There's only a handful of real world cars to choose from but it's a nice selection. It doesn't really matter which car you choose though, there's no speed or power differences. There are only four tracks. New York, San Francisco, Chicago and London. Each one is full of jumps and sweeping corners perfect for drifting. And there's plenty to crash into on the sidelines, which I like a lot. You also notice a fair bit of rubber banding, which means you never get too far ahead or too far behind. And that really works in an arcade game like this. The tie can always be turned at the last minute. Plus, this always keeps you close to your friends, and it's always fun shunting your friends. You also have a one-time-off NOS boost if you get too far behind to help catch up to the front of the pack. The best thing about this game is at the start of the race it takes your photo and puts that above your car and that means you can see which friends are in which cars. It also saves that photo for AI players for later on so other people will see your face racing about the track. It's a nice touch, it adds some silliness and I like silliness. There are also unlocks that will keep you playing. And you don't need to buy some memory card or something. It actually works on a pin system. So you just input your pin next time you play and everything is there. It's all pretty much cosmetic. You can get a new spoiler or something like that. But still, it's a nice touch. <laughs> oh, God, so slow. All in all, Dead Heat is exactly what you want from an arcade race. So you can just jump in, have an exciting bash against your friends who are right next to you. And there's always something special about that. I'm giving it 7.5 out of 10 rubber chickens.